Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basir. Welcome to the fifth video of 100 Web Project Series. In this video, we are going to create drop lift, drop down, drop up, and drop right using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. Pay attention to the details when I'm clicking drop up, the drop menu of drop right is gonna collapse. Likewise, if I click drop down, all activated drop menus are gonna collapse. And if I click anywhere other than these buttons, then activated drop menus are gonna collapse too. We already created these drop menus as well in the very first project where we created this navigation bar using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So make sure to check this out as well. I'll put the link in the description section below. So without any further ado, let's get rolling to the first thing I want to talk about. All right, so I already created the index.html, the CSS, and JavaScript files, and did all necessary plumbing and wiring between them. Now let's start from drop wrapper. Drop wrapper is going to wrap the drop button and also drop menu. Button.button .button is going to be called as drop down and then div.drop menu. It's going to have a class of drop down with the ID of drop down. Inside of which I'm going to add some anchor tags link 1, link 2, link 3, link 4, and link 5. There we go. Also make sure to add a divider in here as well. Now let's run this in live server. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stack this side by side and also this one too. There we go. Now back into style.css, I'm gonna target the body displayed as grid, place items to the center. Save it and add a height of 100 vertical height. Now it is in the center vertically and horizontally. Back into index.html, uh, we need to do some extra coding in here. Add this data target that's going to target this drop down. All right, so this data dash whatever attribute you're going to use afterward, we'll use this in JavaScript just to know that this button is going to target this drop menu with the ID of drop down right here. Make sure to add this pound sign at the beginning of it as well all right so back into style the css make sure to okay this is draw proper so in style the css and draw proper is going to have a position relative and then we have this drop menu right here drop menu it has a position of absolute a weight of 150 pixels then a border of one pixel solid grayish border there and also let's add a box shadow one pixel for the horizontal and vertical offset then some three pixels for the blur zero for a split and going with some random color there all right now let's also style the links as well so there we have this drop menu a and that they are going to be displayed as block and that a padding of like 0 0.5 rim and 1 rim also let's get rid of that text decoration to none and add a color of uh, i believe some kind of dark color like that and all the way up until the body i'm gonna add a font family uh, which in my case i'm gonna choose sego ui all right, so the drop menu is styled. Now this drop down for the button, I'm gonna go way up until here, target the button, and it's going to have a padding of like 0 0.5 rim, and maybe 1.5 rim as well. There we go, let's get rid of the border, and also the outline. That looks better and for the background color I already come up with this color here so I'll be using it back in here this is how it is gonna look and then the color it is going to be white like so add a bit of border radius for the corners yep and that when this pattern is active I want to add a box shadow 
So the box shadow, I already come up with this box shadow. Just to save some time, I'm gonna copy paste it in here. So you will see that if a button is active, for example, let's assume that I'm gonna add that active class in here. So you will see that this is how it is gonna look. And that pay attention to this part, it is 0 0.125 rim. So for that, I'm just gonna copy that. And then right here, I have this drop down. So from the top, it is 100 percent and that also it's have it gonna have a margin top of 0.125 rim and now it looks better right so also let's do all necessary styling for the drop up drop lift and drop right so I'm gonna duplicate it there we go so here this one is for the drop Actually, I'm going to maximize it. This one is for drop up. And then this one right here is going to be drop lift. Uh, make sure to spell that correctly. And finally, let's just duplicate it one more time and add drop right there we go this is drop right all right now if i just flip back to browser this is how it's gonna look it looks really horrible now just for a quick fix of that i'm gonna maximize it once again and wrap all of them into a very big container so Control shift p and then hit enter then dev.container now back into style.css I'm gonna target that container add the display of flicks and then there is this justify content which is gonna have this space around and also it's gonna have a width of 992 pixels now if I flip back to the browser you see that now it looks really nice alright so back into style.css for the drop lift we're gonna say that from the right side it's gonna have 100% space so back in here there is this drop lift I'll do one more thing here uh, this drop lift it has to be positioned at the very beginning right here for the styling of the buttons there we go now if I just flip back to here now this looks better you see that from the right side it is positioned 100 person but from the top it is still 100 person and to avoid that I'm going back to style.css and say that from the top it is zero person and now back to here now this is how it is gonna look also make sure to add that margin as well so from the margin right it is 0.125 rim like so and the same is true for the drop right so I'm just gonna copy that out and paste it here this is drop right but this is going to be from the left side is going to be 100 person and margin left it is 0.125 rim and back in here this is drop lift drop right and the only thing remained in here is this drop up so finally back into here I'm gonna duplicate this one and add this drop up here so this one from the bottom is going to have that 100% space and margin bottom is going to be 0.125 rim and flipping back to the browser you now see that drop lift drop down drop up and drop right they are all positioned the way exactly as we expected it now as a final step we need to add some bit of the javascript code for all of this to work okay back into style.css first make sure that you are going to display all of those as none and when this drop menu is activated you are going to show you're going to show it display block back in here they are all gone now let's open the script.js file and target all of the buttons const buttons test document dot query 
select your all and selecting all of those buttons there then buttons dot for each and then I'm gonna target each of those button and run this arrow function button dot add event listener I'm gonna hook a click event in here and open clicking that I'm gonna call this callback function which in turn is going to add button dot class list dot add class of active there we go now by default all of those have these active class now I'm gonna remove all of it remove him and now if I just flip back to here click it the active class is being added to all of this okay back into script.js also I need to uh, grab all of those drop menus to drop menus that's equal to document dot query select your all and then that is drop dash menu like so and make sure to make it camel case like this and then back in here I'm gonna say that document dot query selector I'm gonna say button dot data set dot dot target dot class list dot add the class of active there we go now if I flip back to here and add that you can see that all of those are showing respectively now as a final step when I click drop lift I want the previous activated drop menus to go away and for that to do I already grabbed all the drop menus so I'm going to loop over every single one of that and remove the active class from there drop menus dot for each drop menu then drop menu dot class list dot remove the class of active like so and then now if I just go back here drop down you see that now this active class is gone from there very good now as a final step when I click away like if I click somewhere like here I want this to go away and for that to do I also need this window dot on click that's equal to it's gonna grab e as an argument and then if e dot target dot match button so if it doesn't match that button it's again going to grab all of those drop menus and remove them good so back into here drop down drop lift and click away that's gone so we are making really good progress so far and there's one more tiny issue in here if I zoom this you can see that the active class is still added to this drops and you can see this is how an unactivated button looks and this is how the activated one looks like so we need to remove that active class from there as well and for that to do I'm gonna again loop through every one of those buttons buttons dot for each button dot class list dot remove class of active like so and make sure that you may also want to do the very same code in here as well all right now back in here if I click drop down drop up you see that active class is gone from from them like so yep it works really nice now as a final step we can do one more thing in here too and that's to make this code a little bit cleaner so I'm gonna create this function of remove active and then actually cut this off from there into here paste it and then call it in this place like so and same is true if I just delete this out and paste it now this should work exactly the way as it did previously all right that was it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one